What's up everyone, Aaron Negler here, PackersNews.com. I'm here with Pete Doherty of the Green Bay Press Gazette. Pete, preseason. Hello. Feel it. The excitement. It's there's in the a, air. There's about as much buzz <laughs> as there was in practice on uh, Tuesday. So I you're said, saying not a lot. Right near the, about two thirds away through practice, I turned to, I was standing next to Rob Domofsky and I said, man, it is just dead in here, isn't yeah, it? And he yeah. said, yeah, and sure enough, after practice, Rodgers was complaining oh, about, yeah. the, oh, yeah. about the vibe. No. Just a little bit. There we go. Get some. Oh, I got some people checking in. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Thanks so much for joining us. Another oh, wow, this is different. Packers preseason. Oh, yeah. The comments are coming in differently. Oh. You guys can't see it, but no, yeah. I'm throwing. I'm. You know, it's preseason for Pete too. So yeah. gotta test him. Gotta yeah. get him early. Has it been like this for a while. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. You it was the last time you were on Facebook Live, like the, the playoffs, last, or last, last game, last yeah. game of last year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Packers preseason taking on the Titans. Obviously, no Aaron Rodgers tonight, and I don't think we still have any idea officially who's starting at quarterback, but you have to assume it's Brett Hundley, right? I guess. You know, you can't really tell by the reps, so no, either can you in practice and at who's all. going. Um, you would you would think they'd give Hundley the first look being the, I guess you'd call incumbent. The incumbent, right. Yeah. Sure. What have you thought so far of between the two? Do you think... Uh, do you think they'll play just those two, or do you think uh, I do. Boyle I, gets in? I was talking to my buddy earlier. I, I'd be very surprised if Boyle gets any significant work tonight. I was thinking, you know, maybe they throw him in the last series. Yeah, but, right. But yeah. I could see him just splitting that game between these Absolutely. two. Absolutely. What do I think of them? Yeah. Um, between the two, who do you? Where do you peg where they're at now, heading into? The you know, season? early in camp, they were both tucking and running a lot. Yeah. That seems to have stopped in the last, you know, I missed three days while I was in Canton at the end of right. last week. Those were three big full practices. Right. Um, but the last couple practices, that seems to have stopped. You know, it's still, uh, you can tell Hundley has more command over what's he, going he on out there. It. Yeah, yeah, I mean, very and, much so. And you can see Kaiser has more just arm talent and he's bigger and a little more faster. A little more athletic. Yeah. No doubt about it. Um, I can't. I got to see these guys against somebody else and see who moves the ball and who puts up points. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I think that's the ultimate measure, right? And because at this point, it's so funny to me that the Packers find themselves in this position where, you know, you saw last year how Hundley essentially threw a season away. I mean, I'm not trying to rip on the guy, but I think we can all agree on that, and that's not being unkind. So they go and they trade for this Kaiser kid who's got to learn the system, and that you see the talent there, but he's looked like every other rookie we've ever seen kind of come through this camp. You know, they, it's a lot to take on. And they really liked him coming out, and I wonder if they just overgraded him like right. the Browns and other teams did. Yeah, it's possible. Looking forward to the pass defense and the changes they make for the season. What have you made so far of Petten's defense? And I mean, they've given Aaron Rodgers a yeah, little bit of trouble. More interceptions than usual, for sure. No doubt. Um, I think Alexander looks like he's got some ability. He plays quick, plays Agreed. fast. I mean, you know. Yeah, he's that quick twitch athlete that yeah. they really haven't had. You know, he had of. an interception. You know, it just I was just like, oh, wow, that was just like Sam Shields in his rookie camp. Yep. You know, now there was only one of them. But, I mean, he's got some ability. The one where you undercut Cobb, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Tremont Williams is better than what they were putting on the field last no year. Doubt. Kevin King. When he's on the field, looks you can see the ability there. I mean, you know? what, that's got to be a concern, though. Yeah. Now, now the to other be shoulder. shelved with a, the other shoulder yeah. after you just lost a season to the shoulder, and I even with you, I thought he was looking excellent yeah. prior to going down with that injury. Um, it's funny, though, because when Kevin King and Jair Alexander have been out, Rodgers and the quarterbacks have basically been picking on Devon House and Dimitri Goodson. I yeah. mean, it's just been lighting them up play after play after play. And look, you're on offense. It's your job to move the ball, to, like, you know, take advantage of what the defense is giving you. You're not going to throw at Tremont Williams. And Josh Jackson's taking some lumps yeah. too. He um, has, although I thought his last practice was probably his best practice. It was. He's he's really handsy, yes, you know, downfield. No doubt. It'll be really interesting to see how so, the NFL refs call it as That's a bad to, habit, yeah. It seems to me, like, just watching at least the last couple practices, the practice refs, who are just their local high school college right. refs, um, they let the, I think they let him get away with a little more downfield than, uh, than the NFL refs do. Somebody asked how Donerson has looked, and I gotta admit, I, I haven't, haven't noticed him. I at haven't all. noticed him one time. No, I watched him on one play on a pass rush, and he didn't do anything, and he hasn't. And he hasn't you know, stood out in drill work, what, which is re generally what you see these guys kind of pop. Yeah, like in you know in eleven on eleven, you know, I, I mean at least like there's been I can remember one or two plays where Beagle's gotten a rush, you right. know, and he's gotten where he would have got it in the sack. Yep. I can't say I've noticed uh, Donerson I, get it, get right even there, pressure. Right there with you. Uh, yes, Wilkerson is hurt. There are a, a number of walking wounded that I doubt we'll see tonight. Wilkerson being one of them. Mike Daniels. Um, I doubt we'll see Randall Cobb. 
who's like Jimmy Graham, the other one, and David Bakhtiari. I mean, I, I don't think we're going to see any of those guys tonight. I'd be very surprised. Clay Matthews? Clay Matthews, no chance. I just can't imagine. Get, 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 I can't. Well, let's see info on Alexander and King. Just that they're injured. We don't get a whole lot from the team in the preseason. And yeah, they don't have to. They don't have to file injury reports. There's no inactive list that they'll be announcing. You know, right, tonight. An hour and a half before the game, which we're already passed. That's a good question. Who do you think of the undrafted guys playing at inside linebacker? Who do you think has the edge at this point, heading into the first preseason? Is, game? So I think Martini is. Is he still playing ahead oh, of everybody? Yeah. You know, yeah, he has been. Thomas looks okay. Actually, those guys look kind of okay you know I right. mean it's you know they don't service them. we're they're not tackling to the ground right so you know it's still hard to it's know impossible. for sure yeah and coverage I'm sure there's there's got to be issues there these guys aren't running four or fives you right. know <laughs> right you know that's why they're undrafted right. um, but they've seemed okay they really they seem to like Martini he's on all uh, first team special teams. first team and that has <laughs> been from the get-go yeah that kind of surprised me yeah. the very first training camp practice a couple weeks ago he was with First team kick coverage and return. He must have just known what he was doing in the offseason stuff. Right. Who should I watch tonight? Says Keith. Well, I'm watching the two QBs, the tackles, the rookie receivers. That's a lot to watch. That is. You know, you can't watch them all at once. <laughs> what, who are you going to be watching on the defensive side of the ball? Um, Jackson. I would have been Alexander if he were playing. The outside rushers for sure. I, yeah, I think I'll Gilbert and Beagle. Watch those guys definitely. a lot. Well, Montrevious Adams is another guy I'm very curious to see. He looked good in family night. He's kind of come on here in these last three or four practices. But you always wonder, like, how much is he kind of being able to take advantage of a practice environment where no one's getting taken to the ground. You can win on a first move, but in a real game, guys can often either compensate a quarterback to move out of the pocket. You can't hit the quarterbacks in practice. Yeah. So. I'm very curious to see how he looks against competition that's live. That'll be a good guy to isolate on every once in a while. He's been getting a lot of snaps in uh, in practice, especially with uh, Daniels no out. You know, he's been the next guy in there. And Wilkerson like. and Petten gave him some kind of unprompted praise. The that other was day. that was really interesting because he was talking about Wilkerson, yeah. and basically, you know, when he when he worked with when Wilkerson with the, with the Jets, right. and how he basically told him, "We got you on tape doing really good stuff now." Instead of one out of four plays, we need to get it to two and then to three. Right. And he basically said the same thing to Adams, and he just offered that up. That so. is high praise. It is. Wilkerson can be a beast. Are you streaming the game? No, Ryan. We will not be streaming the game because we enjoy our jobs. Josh Jones, another guy to watch. Um, will Josh Jones start tonight? I th my guess would be yes. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Cause, Opposite. Ha yeah, ha. Yeah. Uh, although Bryce was back the other day, so it could be a coin toss there. So do you think we'll see Jones at all or very much in the the slot linebacker kind of corner job? Hybrid, yeah. hybrid role. Yeah. It's interesting because now that they've moved Rollins into some of that, he's been doing some of that. You know, I tell you what, I was talking to, I can't remember who it was yesterday, but Josh Jones, there's a real possibility that he's just not what they thought he was. And maybe his playing time gets kind of taken away if these other guys can step up. He hasn't jumped out a lot. He made a play on the ball. I remember it was either Tuesday or Monday. Right. But um, and he had one nice coverage play against Lewis in, uh, a couple days ago. You know, he, maybe he's just too much of a straight line player, um, or you know, maybe he'll come on. I just last year in the off season in the three OTA practices that he were was open, ridiculous. he made. He was two ridiculous. play at least two plays of practice where you went okay you know that's a good they, they play. might have a player this, this guy's yeah. gonna help him this year I totally and agree. he didn't do anything I could not agree more Kyle Kuzno's watching what's up Kyle Kuzno what an where, honor where is Cole Madison that's a good question and where nobody, is he Pete nobody uh, he's at home I don't know I have, nobody knows the Packers have been completely tight-lipped both in front of the scenes and behind the scenes I've tried to ask and, numerous ways yeah. to numerous people and nobody's given up anything uh, I was texting back and forth with a personnel guy in the league and asked him about him, and he's he's texted back flake, and then the next text was just it was seemed kind of strange at the Senior Bowl, and the guy didn't elaborate. So something going on there. Brought some beer, Keith. Always, definitely. Ryan, yes, Alexander has been dealing with a groin injury. I would be surprised if we see him tonight. There you go. Peter's asking us to stare into our crystal ball. First one of the season. I got that on the chat the other day, too. Will yesterday. Rollins make the 53? It's touch and go. Um, you know, I haven't, I'll, I'll sit down and kind of break down the roster after this game. So I really don't have the numbers at all figured out or sure. anything. But I would think he's very, very uh, much on the bubble. You Definitely know? on the bubble. What's going to help him is if he's able to show in these preseason games 
he's able to handle all of these different position kind of responsibilities that they've given him because you know coming into the off season I think there was a large part of Packer fandom that thought he should be moved to safety and they've gone the Packers have gone well beyond that they've moved him to safety they've moved him to inside linebacker they've moved him to dime back they've moved him kind of everywhere except for nose tackle so the, what I'm wondering is does that mean he's a guy without a position or well that's is he, what it is, seems, he, is he a versatile right? guy who can do a lot of things that makes him keep him I mean I guess if I had to lay a bet right now Without doing the numbers, I'm thinking it's, it'll be tough for him to make it. But you know, injuries and who knows. And they love know, versatility. If he plays a good, if he has a couple of good games. I tell you what, I think I would say standing here right now on August 8th, 9th, whatever it is, August 9th, I'll say he has a better shot of making the 53 than Devon House. Really? Yep. Interesting. And that's that's my that's my tea leaf for you today. That's just me though. Rogers is not playing tonight. You better believe it. You think he plays it all in the preseason? I do. I think they'll be just simply because of the changes to the offense this offseason, the playbook, the terminology, the stuff they want to do up front. I got to believe they're going to want at least a quarter, or maybe even a half of live action at some point to just kind of get the operation set, so to speak. I can't imagine he doesn't play at all. What do you I'm, think? Just for fun, I'm going to guess no, <laughs> that he doesn't play at all. He's so crazy. Uh, Perry and a first round pick for Mac, Nathan. As Ted Thompson was always fond of saying, this isn't fantasy football. Although I will say, the interest in Khalil Mack is, is very real among the Packer fans. I'm going to um, have to weigh in on this uh, early with my next column, which won't be for a few days. Right. But, uh, it's a really, really interesting question you pose there. And we're talking about a guy who, as long as like there's nothing going on with him, right. if there's no physical issue or something like right. that, I mean, this is a top 10, Special maybe player. top five defensive player in the league. Right. These are the guys who win you games. Mm -hmm. Those first round picks are late, you know, that the Packers no have. Doubt. There's a lot to discuss and go over here. <laughs> Pete, get setting it up. That's a, te that's a that, quality tease that is right a there. Is the game streaming anywhere? Uh, not that I know of, unless you have NFL Game Pass, which here, a little pro tip for you. Sign up for the trial version, and then after the first two weeks, just cancel. There you go. Game the system. Game the system. Is Tremont still looking like a starter? What do you think? I'd say yeah. I mean, I'd call him starters top three because they play nickel. Right. They, they play sub, nickel, dime, whatever, 80% of the time at least. I think we saw prior to King's injury what they would probably like to be their starting three when we saw Tremont on one side, King on the other, and Alexander in the yeah. slot. I yeah. think that's their preferred three. We saw a stretch of that right up until family night, and then King and Alexander got hurt, and that all went out the window. Yeah. But uh, I think that's uh, that's a good bet. That's not unethical. That's just helpful. No, that's within the rules. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's totally legal. Yeah. I suggested nothing illegal. There's nothing sneaky there. Uh, <laughs> How many quarterbacks are they going to keep was one of the questions. Oh, um, two. I'd be absolutely shocked I, if they kept I three. I don't see why they would keep three. Why on earth? Yeah. Um, especially since I don't think you anybody's – Thinking that they're going to be in danger of someone claiming Hundley, you know, unless is he still he's still susceptible to waivers, right? He's in his fourth year. Fourth so year, yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't remember though. Because a lot of Donerson yeah, love we here. Already, we talked about we him. talked about Donerson a little bit earlier, and the short answer is he's been invisible. As long as Tremont doesn't have a to guard Baldwin. Ooh, Matthew cover zero. That's a that's let a rough him, one. Let him inside. That's a rough one, Zach man. Bronchek schooled me on that. Oh, there we go. Zero, you can't let the release you on the inside. Cannot. Good question here. What happened to Ahmad Brooks? Just, he's a free agent still. Yeah. Old guy. Older guy. It's kind of unfortunate that, you know, he finally, you know, Green Bay got him and he had a back issue that kept him out of so many games. And it's a back thing that he had been dealing with his whole life, but it was the first time ever yeah. that he had to miss games because of it. I mean, that's just the, that's a good sign. the sad, hard part about pro sports and the NFL is you get older, you start getting hurt, you don't recover as well, it diminishes you and yep. you know it's it's like there that old there's that old saying, how did you go how does how did a guy go bankrupt? Very slowly then all at once. <laughs> and that's what happens to these guys. Father time, yep. he's undefeated. Yep. All right everybody, we're gonna jump. Thank you so much for all the questions. Uh, we'll have everything covered for you from the first preseason game here at Lambeau Field. Uh, make sure you're checking Pete's column. All the coverage at PackersNews.com. For Pete, I'm Aaron, and we'll talk to you soon.